Evil Jocelyn's even got the postal service scared of her. Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Road to Gek Part 6. This is the fifth time I'm doing this intro so let's see if I can speak coherently and actually get a sentence out. Um, so Jocelyn's getting out of work. She's heading out to one of these little opportunity things, which I find absolutely hilarious that it's a vaccination clinic at a graveyard. Like, everybody there is already dead. But sure, no, why not? Have at it. Anyways, last time we left off, we left it off on a little nice note where my Sim and Beck are now a thing. Um, the thing about that is, while that is nice, it's a little bit of a tricky situation, you see, because we kind of don't really want to tell anybody else in the household yet that that's going on because A, if Jocelyn, regular Jocelyn, finds out that my sim is now dating Beck, will her will to live lower and then allow evil Jocelyn to successfully attack our sims? And B, um, if evil Jocelyn finds out, will evil Jocelyn's will to do evil grow and then allow her to successfully attack us? It's like... We lose either way, so it's better if the two of them kind of just keep things to themselves. The issue is, um, if you look at this door, and then this door, and then this door over here, we kind of have everything blocked off, and we have all of the sims staying in the main house. So, having all of the sims under one roof is gonna make this a little tricky to, you know, not have everybody know that they're in a relationship, but it is what it is. Um, the dining room has now been converted into a space where everybody can kind of just discuss and figure out what the heck they're gonna do, because honestly, let's be real, what are our real options here? Sure, this lady is trying to kill them, but like, what do you even do with that? We can't have Jocelyn turn back evil, we can't have any of them kill her because like that's wrong so what do they do so basically they're in here they're just trying to figure out different solutions and all of that um i'm gonna have greg roland come up here <laughs> and kind of just talk about random stuff that he sees on there he, he's kind of like that one guy that meme of the guy in front of that giant cork board with all of the like investigative pieces on it yeah that's greg here so why don't you kind of have a seat talk to Beck about a few things like what are our options in the meantime my sim is wearing one of her many wigs because we're not we're not doing that hairstyle we just can't do it so right now she's in a red wig um my hair in real life is currently red fun story let's pause so I decided that I wanted to dye my hair many, many colors because I'd done it before, but all of the bleached hair grew out. And so then my sister came to visit and she was like, I'm going to go bleach my hair. And I was like, well, since you're going, I have already put the money aside. Let's go do it. So I decided to do this thing where I bleach only half of my head, not like down the middle, but like the top side of my head will be bleached and the bottom will stay dark. And so I do it. And then I want to put in one of the many hair dyes that I own in. And I was going to put in a color by Good Dye Young, the rock lobster, because I wanted to look like lights, but I was like, no, I have this more magenta -y, cool toned hair dye from Manic Panic, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. It looked cool toned in the bottle, and I wanted that, I wanted that to offset the orangey bleach nature of my head. It was not cool toned. So it's just super, super red. And I put it on my head. And here is a list of a few things that I think I look like. One of those troll dolls. Anybody who would ever end up on the reality TV show, Rock of Love. The hunchback of Notre Dame because of the hair color and my hunchback. Anyway, back to the Sims. So here we are, my Sim with her red hair color to match me in real life. And she's just kind of cooking something up because at this point, she's like me in real life, tired of hearing bad news and wants to eat her feelings. So she's gonna go ahead and ignore the little meeting they're having in the other room. And she's going to cook. Uh, we have something here. Jocelyn is ready to start vaccinating. The session will last for four hours. Four hours? Okay, well, 
let's see if anybody shows up. Oh, okay. So we have Rudy and then we have Adam Smith. Well, pff, Rudy, you can die. Um, and we're going to have her vaccinate Adam. Speaking of vaccinations. No? Okay, cool. No doubt. All right. So she's just going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Bruh. Who are you crying over? Can we talk about how genuinely horrifying it is that our sims live in this countryside, by the way, and are regularly being attacked? Like, what in the courage the cowardly dog? I swear. Rudy got tired of waiting and went home. Get vaccinating. Rudy, you can die. Anyway, what is our plan here? We can have Beck go and talk to her. That way we can kind of like really define how he impacts her and what her real weakness is so that we can attack that but that does put beck in danger so i'm gonna have my sim come over here and just be like couldn't help but hear you from me eating my waffles very loudly but like maybe we cannot do that also fun fact if you guys look around the house on every little door area the the pile of letters from Jocelyn has gr grown. So clearly she has an affinity for Beck, which is why sending him out might be the best option. But also like, he could die? Rudy, you can die. Like, well, that is a creative solution. Maybe let's not do that so he doesn't die. And Beck is just like, I mean, yeah, please don't send me out there. And look, oh, look how disgusted he is. He's like, uh, yeah, no, like, I, I really don't want to do that. I've dealt with one crazy Jocelyn already in the past. Not something I'd like to relive. And uh, she's thinking to herself, it's like, this is the love of my life. I don't want him to die, but I really can't say that. He is the consequences. Oh, okay. Now they're, they're really arguing. So, okay. Oh, oh, that wasn't good. I don't like that. I want them to be fr look, apologize. She realized it's like, oh God, no, I, I showed too much emotion and that I didn't handle that well. So let's apologize. And Beck is just going to come in. And he's like, look, while I'm not too interested in the idea either, I feel like this is just kind of something we have to do. Take one for the team. I can do it. It's fine. I'm gonna Not do it. And while this isn't the ideal time for them to be starting their relationship, when was it really going to be? But anyway, my sim is literally missing work right now, so she's gotta go. And okay. And now we have an issue because Jocelyn has witnessed this, although she stands, she ships. What, <laughs> what is going on? She's gonna be like, look, I know I should be pissed, and that's maybe what you were expecting from me, but I kind of knew that this was supposed to be a thing from the very beginning. I was just chaotic before, so, you know, I put myself in the between you two. But you know what? I stand. This is the ship of dreams. This is what everybody's been waiting for. Anyway, so my sim is now going to go to work. I'm going to have Jocelyn call out. And let's go ahead, not quit work. Is there a way for me to say like, hey, I don't, I don't want to go in today. She's going to uh, take some unpaid time off because honestly, her showing up at a place of work with like scalpels and all that stuff probably isn't a good idea with everything that's going on. So you know what, bro? Congratulations on this. It's fine. My will to live will not lower. Honestly, I can't let it because if I do, that woman will kill me. What is going on out here? Oh, and Beck. I was gonna say Beck. Greg just peed himself. No, Beck, no. After some care and some plotting, we have come to a decision. Since Beck is Evil Jocelyn's weakness, we're going to send him out to interact with her. We'll have Greg 
observe from a distance. And we are going to have Jocelyn stay behind with my sim so that my sim can watch good Jocelyn and make sure that nothing happens to her. That is the plan. And honestly, that just seems like our best bet. That way we can finally find out some more real information and see what can happen from there.